Hey, my name's Samuel, this is Q&A Sunday. So I'm a property investor and I love to help and create other property investors. And I've had some questions from people aspiring to be or maybe just starting out in property. Let's see what we got. Love your stuff, Samuel, thank you. Regarding Article 4, does that prevent new multi-let properties or does it just prohibit new licensed HMOs? i.e. five or six bedrooms, thank you. So, Bunsky, all HMOs, all multi-lets. If you're moving into an Article 4 area and you're buying a house, a single family home, and you wanna rent that house out by the room, even if you just wanna rent out three rooms in the house, you cannot do that. That's how hardcore Article 4 is. So of course, what I do is buy houses outside of Article 4 areas or, buy houses that are about to become Article 4, and then I get the grandfather rights. So yeah, all HMOs, all together. George says, do you think Brexit, okay, another Brexit question. Do you think Brexit will cause a lot of immigrants to leave the UK? And if so, to what extent will this impact the rental market? Could we expect an oversupply of houses to rent and drop on rental prices? So. I, I, I don't know because Brexit hasn't happened yet. However, I would certainly like to think that people don't get kicked out of England. I mean, on, honestly, I'm all for having borders. I think that's fine because it's just, every country's got its own rules and its own border. I think that's fine. That's probably a good thing. But kicking people out that have been here for years, I don't think that's gonna happen. And here's why I don't think that's gonna happen because I think that it would ruin so many businesses um, I mean, forget my property business. Yes, I've got a lot of tenants who are international students or international workers, but my actual, my business is in my training business. Like our COO is from Portugal. You know, we, we've, we've got, uh, our, 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 our marketing um, director is from Poland. So I just, I personally, I cannot see that they're gonna be kicked out of the country when they're bringing so much value to the country. That's my opinion. What's gonna happen exactly? I, ju I just think there'd be such an uproar. My wife, my wife only became British last year. Like what, what would they have done two years ago? Just kicked her, sent her back to Zimbabwe, Africa. I, ju I just can't see that happening. I really cannot. And I think that in the UK, generally speaking, we're such a multicultural um, kind, of, kind of society I, 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 I can't see it. It would ruin businesses, real big businesses, real big businesses. And um, if I was, uh, with my investor hat on, owning houses, I'm not worried about losing tenants. It's just, maybe they'll be harder on, the amount of illegal immigrants we have in this country is insane. We have thousands of illegal immigrants. I think they'll tighten up on that, for sure. I know Boris is talking about that, but, that's my opinion. I'm not worried about it at all, to be honest, um, because I just I just cannot possibly imagine it. But hey, we'll find out, I guess, on the 31st of October. What do you think, more importantly? Comment below, what are your thoughts on Brexit? I mean, I don't mind if you're in or out, like honestly. I mean, I, I, I personally think that um, most people that argue about Brexit, some are in, some are out, they actually want the same thing. It's just a case of how do we get there? So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with Brexit. I'm fine with Brexit, but it'd be interesting to see what happens. So, okay, Christina Boss. I love you, Christina. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all your posts. And I'm sorry that your book hasn't arrived yet. I hope it's arrived by the time you get this. But Christina says, Samuel, I'm in the UK for two years, self-employed. I went back to ask to borrow some money from, um, from them. They said to come after one year. Should I wait or another people I can ask to help with this problem? Okay, bank, you went to the bank? Don't go to the bank to ask for money. The bank are the worst person um, if you're trying to get a house for like a mortgage. I assume you're talking a mortgage. You wanna to go to a broker. You get a good broker. Go onto the Property Investors Group. Property Investors with Samuel Leeds is a Facebook group. Ask to join it. You'll be accepted by the team really quickly, hopefully. And ask the question. Say, hey, how do I get in touch with a good broker? And there's loads of brokers on there that, will, that I'm sure will, you don't want to wait a year, you just want to find another broker. Here's the thing, if you go to a bank and say, can I have money please for a house? That bank might say no. But if you go to a broker, that broker will be able to go to hundreds of banks 
and find the one that will say yes for you. So that's my advice. All right, we'll just do one more. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy says, hey Samuel, thanks for your amazing videos and advice. Boom, you're so welcome, thank you. Can you advise me on how to put together a great power team of builders, tradesmen for a first time HML multi-let, please? How do you organize them to be ready for action in time for receiving the keys? I imagine you can't waste time, especially when you purchase with short term bridging loans. So true. Finding good builders also available when you need them in an area that's new to me seems a little daunting. How do you do it? Thanks, Jez. Uh, Jez, great question. And I'm, I'm assuming that you've bought a HMO outside of your area, probably because the numbers stacked up. So firstly, Jez, congratulations on doing that and taking that leap of faith and taking that step. How do you get builders? Um, okay, so there's a few ways you can get builders. Um, before you use a builder, I would ask to look at their previous work because if you, if, if you go to a job that they're currently working on or go to a job they've just finished, to be able to see the standard or at least ask for pictures, if you live far away and you've got a team of builders going in, depending on how big the project is, I would probably want a project manager. Even if the project manager is just going to be working on the project for a couple of months or going down two or three times a week, um, I wouldn't pay a fortune. But if builders are left on their own devices and they know that you live three or four hours away, they're just humans and they're gonna not prioritize your job. They're gonna cut corners, they're gonna overcharge you. So um, I, I understand why you're feeling a little bit nervous about it, but there are people, even if you just ask, find, go to a property investors network meeting in the area and find investors that are, are dealing with builders and just find someone that can just keep an eye on it maybe. Because if you don't know what you're doing and you live far away, you could do it yourself, but it's gonna be more effort, it's gonna be more time. You'd be better to just pay someone to be a project manager. Make sure that you have a, um, a, 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 an itemized quote. So it's a case of not just, oh, it'll, it'll cost 10 grand, or oh, it'll cost 20 grand. You want, know, you want an exact breakdown of, of, of that quote. So for the, for the painting in each room and for the plastering in each room, and what's, what, what, what's, are they charging you day rate? So labor plus, plus the um, materials, you want to know all this and you also want um, deadlines in place as well. So how, when's the deadline going to be? And maybe there could be penalties if they, go over the if they go over the deadline. You want all this in place. It's not difficult, it just, it just, it's just one of those things that need to happen. So uh, I wish you all the best with that. If you do need any help, please do reach out to us. And um, also join the Property Investors Group as well. We have a really, really good Facebook group where we support and help one another. Um, if you've got any more questions for me, Jez, if you've got any follow-up questions, drop a comment below, ask your questions. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can next Sunday. Don't forget as well, we have daily videos. Every day I put out a new video. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. It's a lot better than watching the TV. You'll be entertained, you'll learn, and you'll go ahead and become very, very wealthy. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace out.